So today I'm going to give you a little refresher on the difference between molecules, atoms, and elements. Uh, we're going to use a beaker of water as our example. Now if I were to zoom in on this piece of beaker using the Lego metaphor we used in class today, I would see a bunch of these little molecules. Here's the molecules you guys made of H2O. And I'd see a lot of these things. And if I look at one in particular, we're going to look at one molecule now. Here's our Lego molecule. I would see a couple different things. I would see this molecule actually has three more smaller pieces. One atom of hydrogen, another atom of hydrogen, and then I have this other atom that is an oxygen atom. So this molecule is actually made of three smaller pieces called atoms. So I have hydrogen and I have oxygen in this molecule. And in particular, if I look a little bit closer, I have one, two hydrogens. So we put a two here. This is called a subscript. It tells me there are two hydrogens. And there's only one oxygen, so I don't need to use a subscript. So here's our chemical label for this molecule. It is H2O. That means there are two hydrogens and one oxygen, and they are chemically bonded together. You can see, just like Legos, stick together. Atoms also stick together sometimes. So when we have more than one atom stuck together like this, we call it a molecule. Now if I zoom out, I'd see a lot of these little molecules, and each one kind of does their own thing, right? This molecule has three atoms, that one has three, that one has three. They don't really, uh, they don't like try to steal each other's atoms or anything like that. Once those atoms are chemically bonded to a molecule, they like to stay the way they are. So in our, our beaker of water, if we zoomed even more out, we'd see even more of these molecules. They're really small. We obviously can't actually see them, but there'd be a lot of them. Okay, before we use the word particle, now we're going to call them molecules. And this is what makes up our substance. So in our case, it's water. But this substance is made of a lot of little molecules. Okay, and each of those molecules is their own little unit. Okay, so these are each water molecules. Now, if we look closer at each molecule, we can see that the molecule is made up of even smaller things. So substances are made of molecules. Molecules are actually made up of littler pieces called atoms. Again, here is an atom. There's three different ones, and they're stuck together to make this molecule. So first we have substances. They're made up of molecules. Now we're going to take this molecule apart. So here's my two hydrogens. Uh, here comes my oxygen. And these are the next smallest thing. They're called atoms. All right, so here we have an oxygen atom and two hydrogen atoms. So molecules are made up of atoms. Substances made of molecules, molecules made of atoms. And specifically, this is an oxygen atom and two hydrogen atoms. Okay, now the name of those atoms, that's what we call an element. So hydrogen is a type of atom, right? An element is a specific type of atom. So we have a hydrogen, an element of hydrogen, and an element of oxygen. Those are both atoms, but they're different types. So in review, we have substances. That's the biggest thing that we looked at. Okay, we had a beaker of water was our example. Substances are made of smaller things called molecules. All right, in our case, we used the Legos, just like you guys built Lego molecules in class the other day. Those molecules are made up of even smaller things called atoms. So the three Legos put together is a molecule, but if we take those three Legos apart, each one represents an atom. And if we look closer in an atom, each atom is a specific type of atom. Okay, so here I have a red and a yellow. Those are different types of atoms. So we call those elements. Element is a specific kind of atom. Now we wouldn't say atoms are made of elements. We would just say each specific type of atom is called a different element.